In the newest release of DaVinci Resolve 14, this is Beta 5, they've included something similar to the curves in Photoshop where you have an option to set your black point, set your white point, and also essentially set your gray point which will color balance your entire footage. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tools. So here we have the black point and the white point over here and this is where you can set your white balance. So let's go ahead and look at this footage. It's from Newman Films. And we can decide what we want to consider the black point of the footage. Now we have to be careful with what we do because it will bring that point to black. As you see, if I make this part of his mask the black point, anything that darkness or darker will become black. Now of course we can come in here and use this part of the mask and it looks a little bit better. But what I want to do is come over here and this actually should be a black and it looks pretty dark. So I'm going to choose this part of her headdress here. And as you can see, that looks a lot better. And it's added a lot of contrast into the image. Now the next thing that we can do is set the white point. And it sort of has the same psychology where you want to find the brightest part of the image. And as you can see, I chose the part of his shirt with the sun hitting it. And it brought that part over on the waveform up to the top. Now we can come in here and we can adjust the gain and move things back and forth. But what I would prefer to do is actually come down to the contrast and make an adjustment there. This way we're setting the black point, we're setting the white point, but if it's too much, we can just come into the contrast and dial it back a little bit. So let's go ahead and do a little before and after. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So now let's go back and take a look at that white balance tool. Now as far as this footage is concerned, as you can see on the parade, it's pretty well balanced. But now if we were to select this part of his shirt where it's blue, that will actually warm up the image because what it's trying to do is bring that blue portion up. And of course in color grading, everything's stylistic. So if you wanted that warmer look, you could actually do it that way. Another thing I wanted to point out is that the white balance tool won't really affect your footage if you've already made adjustments to your footage. And what I mean by that is, let's go ahead and move everything towards magenta. We'll come down and we'll choose the white balance tool. We'll put it on a part of a shirt there. And as you can see, I've already clicked and nothing's happened to the footage. So as I mentioned, the other footage was a little hard to see because it was already pretty much well white balanced. But now we can look at this footage here and you may not be able to tell, but it, I can tell that it has a little bit of a magenta cast. So well, let's go ahead, come down here. Come to a specific part of the snow that's not actually blown out and overexposed and you can see how well it's white balanced the footage. Now let's go ahead and do a little before and after a couple times just so you can see the contrast. Right here we have that magenta cast and here it is being white balanced.